Hello guys, what's up? It's Shark Talking. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, today's video is about this royal ticket set that became available today. So a lot of people uh, were probably thinking if this is worth or not because of the characters that you can get with this. So we'll be discussing this right now. When you click on it, you see that this royal ticket set costs 5,000 gems, but it will give you a selector for some type of characters and also 10 silver tickets. Some people always argue that a silver ticket equals five, uh, 500 gems, but I don't think so. I usually value them around 200 gems or something like that because they can never be used on step ups or guarantee your character on the end of your summon. So this is very nice to get 10 silver tickets because it will still help you in the future if you're trying to get some, at least some of the weapons from some banners very hard to get a new character with Divine and Weapon tickets, but uh, we have to talk about the characters that you can get here. Uh, it's not a, every character that the game has. We can remember that they did something very similar to this before. It was 10,000 gems and you could get a character and a ticket for a new character. But this time it's only uh, this list of characters is a very uh, common ticket to be honest. This is the same ticket that is given to returning players and... Uh, there's a lot of uh, of these characters that are way too outdated to be good. And they removed some of the good ones that it will be easy to choose, like uh, Valkar Alicia. Valkar Alicia is on the returning character uh, artifact banner. For people that stop at playing the game and they uh, just came back to the game, they can just get a free Valkar Alicia if they just uh, stop at play for more than a month. They always do this most of the months that they... So this is a little um, bad that we can get for our Alicia. Let's just keep a look on all of these characters here. Um, we have Alicia, Rufus, Argreen, Salamitsu, Freya, Tyla, Silmiria, Abel, Brams, Mistina, Lucian, Argreen, F, Jelanda, Rebecca, Gloria, Marge, Lizard, Frey, Elite, People, Alice, Alfio, El, Lenny, and Hawkeye, Bedelia. So, um, you can choose one of these characters if you still don't have the most important of them. And what they are? The first of all, uh, Arngreen. Yeah, the original Arngreen. If you have one Arngreen and you want to get his orb because you don't have it, you can just get uh, this pack with 5000 gems and you have Arngreen orb and you have one of the best tanks uh, that, that will still be useful in the future. He will be outclassed by two or three characters for the third generation, but he can still be used alongside it and in other circumstances. So uh, after Iron Green, the other character that is still interesting to have is Rebecca, but you probably got her with your 100 or 200 tickets. If you don't, Rebecca is still useful because she gets easy going part skill and easy going part skill is very important because it gives critical hit chances. And then we talk about Lizard. Lizard is still not bad because uh, he can be used as a main slot. He is very outclassed by future characters, but being able to use on the main slot re makes it very easy to replace your original Lenet. The original Lenet is very, very bad because she needs to be replaced as soon as possible. Some new players won't have a replacement for Lenet if they don't aim for Valkyrie character's banner. So getting Lizard can help uh, uh, a little to progress faster. Uh, besides Lizard, we have um, people. We have El, Lenny, and Bedelia. They are worth because of other reasons. And I'll talk about this right now. Uh, they come with the Weapon Assist slot. For those that don't know, Weapon Assist is that thing that gets you more status by having equipment on your uh, party slot. Uh, it's from your off party slot. When you click on a character that has it, just like, um, let me get one that has. Garmin Elite has. When you go to Potential Force, you see on the south this path here saying Weapon Assist plus one. So you get one more weapon to equip on your off party to get more status. So this is important because it gets very strong with time. It's not as strong as Character Assist because Character Assist is way more hair, but it still makes a difference. When you click here, you see I have 15 weapon slots and I have uh, 28 uh, character slots. So I'm getting this status right now. If I get one more uh, weapon assist, I'll probably just get something like 100 more attack or something around that. But with time, it does make difference if you have more than that. 
But uh, uh, if you don't have these four characters, one of them, it's still available if you want to get one of them just to get more weapon assist. Weapon assist is important because it helps you get to cap status. But when you go to the other options, you can still get some of them based on if you lack in the orb. The only character that I see that it could still be useful is Marge, but she's very, very old right now. And if you want her orb, you could get her orb. Besides this character, uh, and none of the other characters are so important. Ayla and Alicia are characters that can have healing, but they are only uh, good healing options if you have six attacks, and on this moment on the game, it's simply not worth to invest all that much on these two characters. And then we have um, Hippo is still a very strong character, because she gets a very increase on her status at one of the second turn on battle, and uh, every uh, two turns she will get a lot stronger, so she's good for that. And then Alfio is, is works just like people, but he's a little weaker. But he uses great swords. People is a bow user. You have to choose uh, based on the characters that you have the correct weapon as well. But Alfio doesn't have a weapon slot assist, so you either go with people, L. L is still usable because right now we can make L better. If you have the Avengers word, that Avengers word that I recommend you guys getting here. Let me just go there so you can see. Avengers word can be getting gotten from here, Metal Exchange Booth. And it's one of the weapons that you can get here. I still didn't get mine, but I'll be getting mine uh, very soon. I was just waiting if I to get one of them uh, by free daily summon. So you see, Avengers Word makes up for a better L, and we also have some orbs right now that increases her guard chances, so she becomes a uh, better use. So either L, either People, Hawkeye, Badilia, and Len uh, uh, Lenny. Lenny is also good because she is like Norn, she increases the Purify Gorge very fast, and her Purify attack is one of the best in the game, even on her generation. But uh, uh, she will lack the damage like Eventide Hakuri or other characters from the Ice Element. But L is one of the best uh, options if you want to summon for the Enigma's word. Just because she increases Purify Attack, uh, Purify Gorge, and she's a supportive unit because of that. And then you can just simply, you can see she's even on the banner, because she was one of the weapons that in the fact was used on her banner on Japanese version. So using Enigma with Lenny is very important because she gets even more Purify Gorge and gets more damage. She can even be used on the second slot if you don't have anything better. She will do good damage and she's a perfect wielder for that. If you're summoning for this banner and if you have a very strong Ice character to be used on your main slot, it's a good idea to just get Lenny. And Lenny will give you one weapon assist slot as well. I'm thinking about getting Lenny because of that, and I really want to get another character that can be used just like Norn, Killing, or even Time Hakuri to get a lot of poten Purify Gorge. I didn't get my chance to get Summer Tyla, and they, she works very similar to Summer Tyla on that regard as well. So, uh, uh, Hawkeye Bedelia gets increased critical chances for all squad, but it doesn't have a very large home number, so she's still very good to use if you have a very good fire bow. It's not hard to get fire element bows because we had a lot so far. So, well, uh, I think this is my word on this banner. I will get it, but you can see that uh, it's very limited. It's only three days for you to decide which character that you want. I'm thinking that they will release something very good after the banner ends because they are trying to make you spend some gems, but this, this deal is not a bad deal. So you have to get here on clicking on shop if you decide to summon. And you have here Royal Ticket Set. When you click on it, it will go straight to your uh, Exchange Boot option. Let's just search for it here. Turn it. Dagener Exchange Special Ticket. Probably here. Okay. It will go straight to this uh, option here. This, this is that item here, Royal Set. So, well, guys, this is it. Hope this helped you guys. And uh, please consider helping this channel if you can. I have my links here to Patreon uh, and also PayPal. And well, thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't. And we see each other in the next video. Bye.